Hello everyone. In this video, we will have a look at when, why, and how you can use the debounce, defer, and lazy modifier with wire model. They all aim to reduce the amount of network requests, but do so in different ways. Especially fields in which you can type like inputs or text areas can cause a great amount of network traffic. If you don't use one of these modifiers with wire model, then every keystroke will cause a network request to fire. Let's start by taking a look at an input without modifiers. This input has no modifiers on it. If we open a network tab and start typing away, we can see that events fire at every keystroke. This can cause a massive amount of network requests. We'll start by looking at debounce. What does debounce do? When you start typing, debounce basically sets a timer for when a request containing your keystrokes should be sent. However, if you keep typing, then debounce keeps resetting that timer. So if you keep typing and you type faster than the timer, you could theoretically never fire a network request. I've added the debounce modifier to this input. The default debounce, or timer if you will, is 150 milliseconds. With the debounce of 150 milliseconds, you'll have to type quite fast to never fire any events. So if you type like a madman, nothing will fire. If you type normally, then you'll still see quite a lot of network requests fire. Let's increase the debounce time. So we'll head over here. This is the debounce modifier on our input. We can add a uh, debounce milliseconds by adding an extra modifier like this. Head back over to the form. And now you can type quite leisurely. Nothing will fire unless we wait for five seconds. That's quite a lot of time. Yeah, now it fired. Under the hood, wire model actually already has a debounce of 150 milliseconds for text inputs. So if you don't set a higher debounce value, then it doesn't actually make sense to use the debounce modifier. Let's move on to defer. What does defer do? Defer tracks all your keystrokes, but it prevents LiveR from ever making a network request caused by that input. However, LiveR is tracking the changes and will send them along with any other LiveR network request for this component. As you can see, we can just keep typing here. We can wait, can type some more, we can click outside of the input and no network request is ever sent. However, if we now press this button, which will cause a network request, then LiveWire will send the update to the server and update the form accordingly. It doesn't matter how the network request gets fired. So this would have worked just as well. We could have just typed here and now start typing in the other input. And that would have also updated our form. Let's move on to the lazy modifier. What does the lazy modifier do? The lazy modifier makes LiveWire listen to change events instead of input events. Every time you type here, an input event gets fired, but not a change event. When we click outside of the input, a change event gets fired, and that's when LiveWire sends the network request. If you are working with forms, the lazy is probably the modifier you will use the most. That's because it still feels very real time, but still prevents a lot of network requests from happening. Defer is a good choice if nothing actually needs to happen straight away after you type or click outside of your input. It also pairs nicely with a button, like in the example here, that starts some kind of action. Debounce makes most sense if you're doing some kind of search or auto-completion that needs feedback or validation right away. And to use any of these modifiers, you just have to add them to wire model, like debounce with the number of milliseconds here, defer on the second input, and lazy on the last one. That was all for today, folks. I hope you learned something. See you next time.